guys, I'm Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. I would love this channel to be a place where I can share my experiences, my passions, and my point of view. This next video turned out to be a real surprise when I went out in the Yellowstone area. When I was near Yellowstone, we were looking for an Airbnb at to stay at for a few nights. Then I came across this little place called the Monarch Garden Inn and Learning Center. Turns out that they actually raise and release monarch butterflies. So I thought, wow, this sounds great. So we booked it. You're probably like me and never really appreciated butterflies that much. Till I met this dynamic duo. Dorothy and Leo Keeler are amazing souls. They're authors, world-renowned wildlife photographers, and dedicated activists. They really are superheroes who are trying to save the dwindling monarch population. No sooner than when we got there, Dorothy and Leo greeted us with, grab your cameras, the monarchs are emerging. I've never photographed butterflies before, so it was great when my new friend, Leo, helped me. He created a great set and gave me some good advice on which flower backgrounds to use and how to light it. And now I'm trying to focus in on, okay, what are the finite details that I can say that one may come out in a half hour, this one may come out in five minutes. There was a lot of trial and error. It did take some time, but I was learning. The butterfly, he comes out the opposite of the gold band, upside down. Upside down. And then he goes and grabs onto the chrysalis. Yeah. So I think that we should turn the stick the opposite way so we can get that angle. Taking pictures was a bit nerve wracking. There were so many of them. So we all had to watch them carefully to see which one was going to emerge first. So I could quickly swing my camera around to get the best shot. As much as I would have loved to say to the little guys, action, time to come out, just not happening. So I had to just be patient and let nature do its thing. He also suggested when filming wildlife, be patient, be observant, and learn about your subject matter so that you can put yourself in the right position to get the best shot. It's going good. He's turning now, so I'm getting his head. It's pretty awesome. I really didn't know much about the monarch butterflies, so it was pretty cool to just see something that I wasn't expecting. It was interesting to see how they emerged slowly and dropped out. Then they pumped fluids into their wings to expand them, which was pretty incredible. They make massive migrations from August to October, flying up to 3,000 miles south to hibernate along the California coast and in central Mexico. Monarch butterflies act as a pollinator and a food source for other species. Yes, wow. we're born this morning. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. I've learned so much from Dorothy, who I like to call the mother of monarchs, who taught me all about the butterfly's life cycle. So what can we do to help the monarch? Well, the most important thing is no milkweed, no monarchs. Milkweed is critical for the life cycle. The female, lays the egg on milkweed, and once the egg hatches, the caterpillar eats the milkweed. Since milkweed is toxic, that makes the caterpillar taste bad to predators. So it's one of their defenses, their only defense. And the monarch won't lay its eggs on anything but milkweed. So the best thing you can do to help these guys recover is to plant milkweed and nectar flowers for the adults. Awesome. And thank you so much for caring because we love these little guys and you love them too. I do. 
you dreamed about him last night. Oh my I did. god. Yay! <laughs> Hear that? Plant some milkweed. Is that too That's far? Good. No, no, that's good. I was super stoked that they gave me the chance to hold and release the butterflies myself. Pick a spot. Well done. Maybe I should get Buttons Monarch Wrangler graduate. <laughs> That would be fun. I can I try another one? Definitely. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try this guy. There you go. I got you, little guy. Where should I put him? I'm gonna put you. Oh, here. Up. Oh, there he goes. Probably off to Mexico. Adios. <laughs> watching people who are passionate about what they truly believe in. This whole experience inspired me to create this video, sharing their story so I can help further the cause. If you guys want to learn more about the Monarchs and where to donate, check out akwildlife.com. Also, if you did like this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you liked, comment, and subscribed. Oh, and by the way, check out my butterfly socks!